Good morning all. As you can see out there, very grey today, a little bit windy. I poked my head out of the window at about 7am this morning, whether to contemplate on doing a sand circle or not, and uh, I crawled straight back into bed, folks. <laughs> yeah, it was windy, it was grey, it didn't look very nice. The tide, I don't think it would have been far enough out anyway, so I made the most of that beautiful, comfortable bed for one last time. This is our last morning here. We're gonna head off now. I've just packed up, had some nice breakfast, and uh, I think I'm just gonna have a quick squiz one more time at the seafront there. And um, I've been recommended a couple of places to visit on the way back through the moors, um, the North Yorkshire moors, the inland. So as we're driving home, we'll see what we can find there, eh? We'll uh, stop for some lunch somewhere and see if we can find any cute little Yorkshire villages. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye to the host. I'm gonna say goodbye to the dog. Ralph, and then we're going to make our way back to North Wales, folks. Goodbye, Saltburn. Here he is, little Ralph. Goodbye, Ralph. Goodbye, Ralph. <laughs> Goodbye, Ralph. He must make some friends when he's here, eh? Does he? Little Ralphie boy. As we're walking along, <clears throat> saying goodbye to Saltburn, there's one thing I forgot about this morning, and that the surf comp's on, I believe. There's loads of people at the end of the pier down there, I don't know if you can see. And the waves are rolling in, some good waves for the surf there, so let's have a quick run down there, shall we? Well, there's definitely a lot more people here today, but I don't know if there's a competition on in all honesty. I think it's just people out and about. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so I've just been speaking to a guy there and he says the competition is on today. This is it. This guy's out there just waiting for the waves. The waves seem to have died down now that I've come up onto the, uh, onto the pier. <laughs> Sod's law, eh? Well, there we go, folks. How was that? Well, we could be here all day. The competition's going on all day. And uh, we've got stuff to do. So that was quite nice, though. Pleasant, many people buzzing off it. Anyways, folks, we need to crack on. Now that I've just come off the pier, just been speaking to a woman here, and she said there's a couple of pretty famous surfers here. I don't know their names. Um, one guy's from Asia, and another guy, I don't know, he's from um, somewhere. <laughs> I'm not a big surfer obviously so I don't know who these guys would be but it just goes to show that it's a, it's a pretty popular spot for the surfing down here I didn't realise you know and this is supposedly quite a big competition as well so um, yeah if you're into your surfing definitely worth coming down here for a little go first place, Grossmont, and it looks like the train is due because there's little barriers across the road. Well how about this for timing? So if I'm not mistaken, without researching this, um, this is the train, it's something to do with Harry Potter. It's the, I think this is the train station that was inspired for Harry Potter or where it was filmed. And it's just leaving now. And you know what? 
I think this is the one I was hoping to get to the next village because you can get the train to the near nearby village and you can walk back along the river but let's see if there's one time for us here and if we can do it we can do it but check this out let me open the window so you can hear it front seat view folks how about that for timing Look at them people eating on there, having a little meal, toasting, cheers, oh, an old couple there just did the cheers together. Beautiful. There you go. Can you see them eating, drinking their wine, having a lovely meal, enjoying a nice Saturday afternoon here in the UK. Oh, how traditional. There you go, folks. The Moorlander. So there's there's the tunnel that it goes through, and you see all the steam coming coming out. This is about five minutes after the train's gone through the tunnel, by the way. Okay, folks. So I just want to correct myself. We're in a place called Grossmont, and this isn't the famous place for Harry Potter. It's the next village along, which is called Goathland. Um, the steam train you just saw then just runs twice a day, I think, um, very busy. But you get other little trains running up and down, um, and so we can go over to the next village. So what we're going to do is, there's a little train in about an hour, so we're going to get a little sandwich here, and then we're going to head from here down to Goathland on the train, and check out the famous train station there, which is in the Harry Potter film and the old TV series Heartbeat in the UK. So, um, nice unexpected little surprise. Anyways, we're going to go into this little refreshment room, grab a little sandwich and a little ticket from this woman here. Anyways, let's go in. So we've ordered a cheese and tomato panini. Now I'm just heading to the ticket office to get our little ticket. Check this out. Very old school. Hello. Hello. Can I buy a ticket, please? Yeah. To Goatland, one person. Thank you very much. This is a very cute little place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's very traditional. Very 1950s. I love it. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. See ya. How about that? Like she just said, it's like going back to the 1950s. <laughs> so cool. on the other side of the track so we have to be on the other side of the track I'm not sure if this is always our train coming I just found out this is the side we need to be on folks it seems like it is here we go So it seems that they're all steam trains that run from here, which is cool. Um, there's just two a day that do meals, dining only. So I think they're the ones that are busy. These are pretty empty. Let's go and find out if this is our train. Goatland. Factory coaches, sir. Factory coaches. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Is 
just for Gothland? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Any of these ones. Cool, thank you. Well. This is old school. Check this. This is old school, man. Wow, look at this. Where should we sit? Shall we have a nice little table seat? Sit here, shall we? Well, this is pretty crazy, folks. An unexpected train journey, eh? Just dump me bag down there. Plenty of room. Oh my god, this is crazy. Right? Like going back to the 1950s, like that woman said. Steam, steam coming out from everywhere, look, out of the ground here. And if you can see that. So once again, an unplanned day turns into an exciting adventure. Yeah man, you can't beat these unplanned days sometimes. You know, you just come across these little places and things just fall into place. Just like it did when we turned up in this little village and the train was just there going past us. Meant to be, no? We got a one way ticket to Gothland. Yes. So that's where we were sat in the car before. And this is where we're sat now. On the way to the tunnel to Ghostland. Here we go. Oh, it's darkness. Just a few little lights in the distance. There you are, folks. There you are. So here we are folks, Gothland, and just here is the famous train station. Welcome to Harry Potter land, if you're a fan. I'm not, to be honest, but you know, I'm sure some of you will be. Does it ring any bells? Does it look familiar? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go over the bridge. Let's go and check out the train station before we walk back. So here we go. The old inspiration for the Harry Potter train station, eh? Should we have a little wander inside, see what's going on? Here are the times, if you're ever in Ghostland. Ah, this is the ticket station. And oh my god, check this out. It's got an old fireplace. An old fireplace. And that is the ticket office. No, I don't want a ticket, but check it out. I'm just having a nosy, hello. <laughs> Some guy thought I wanted to buy a ticket. Some people wanted to buy tickets. Look at that, that's unreal. And behind me here. Got some old lights. Got some old boxes, look at these. Some more here. Unbelievable. And off she goes. Some happy people on the train there. <laughs> having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. Adios, amigos.
the old toilet blocks for the ladies the old toilet blocks for the men Okay, so just after talking to this lovely chap here, he said I need to get onto the rail trail. That's the way we need to walk back to Grossmont, where we've just come from. So goodbye, go Sun Station. Let's head to the rail trail, shall we? So as you saw on that sign there, it's a three and a half mile walk back to Grossmont, which is not too bad. Apparently there's a little pub halfway. Let's see if that's open. The guy on the train said it's the smallest pub in the country. Not too sure, I'll have to Google it. So don't take my word for it. Well, let's crack on, eh? So we're just coming into the village here. You've got the Ghostland Hotel. Which kind of looks similar to the train station. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, there's an old little, well, it's called Aidensfield Garage, but it's now, looks like it's converted into a little store. Let's go and check it out, see what's going on, look. If you're not from the UK, these are the old petrol um, things that you used to use back in the day. You'd fill yourself up, or if the garage owner was nice, they'd fill it up for you. Look, you've got the old, the old counters. Nothing digital here, folks. Nothing digital here. So yeah, this used to be an old garage, obviously, but now it's just an old, like, touristic shop. Let's have a quick. Lots of old stuff, though. Pretty cool. Well, the owner didn't want me filming in there. He just said, thank you, thank you. There's another. The old diesel pump. This looks like the beginning, folks. This looks like the beginning. A bit of carnage going on here. Okay, so I just said we're going to Grosmont and we're not going to Beckhole, but we are going to Beckhole. And do you remember why? Because that small pub is in Beckhole, the supposed smallest pub in the UK. Uh, so I've seen this on a couple of gates now. I'll point it out to you guys. If you do not shut this gate, in other words, neglect of the gate, there's a penalty of two pounds. So if you're caught leaving this gate open, you're gonna get a two quid fine. It's a bit steep, isn't it? So it looks like we're just entering Beck Hole. See, there's no fine here. Don't get a two pound fine for this one. This is Beck Hole. I believe I need to go right here. There's some nice looking buildings over there. Some nice little houses up here. There's a nice little bridge here by the looks of it. With this beautiful house next to it. Look at this. Here it is. So here we are, here we are, Birch Hall Inn, doesn't look like it's open folks, I think we're going to be a little bit disappointed, yeah it's not open. The old Birch Hall Inn is currently closed and it's Saturday as well and next to it we have a little shop here, shop, look at this. One little door for the shop, one little door for the bar, you see? They've got it sorted here, and your little telephone box, so in a short span of, I don't know, 30 metres, you've got a telephone box, a shop, a pub that's closed, and a bridge. Beautiful. And a stunning house next to it. Imagine living there. Where you off, love? It's that pub, isn't it? Eh? Oh my days, folks, I shit myself then. Just as I was filming that, I looked into the telephone box and I thought someone was actually in it. 
freaked me out, man. I just caught him inside of my eye. He's got his little dog as well. That's freaky. Well, that was a quick stop off, eh? But hey ho, what can you do? The pub's not open, so let's crack on. Evidence that the grass is always greener. Is it? Yeah. Oof, good lad. So we've just arrived at North Bridge. A little bit of history here. So what you can see here is the, is the old stone bridge. There's little remnants here and there, but this got damaged um, due to floods, basically. Um, and it was, this was built in 1845 and it was replaced with a smaller um, wooden bridge. So it was the old railway bridge, which was horse drawn at the time. So yeah, as you can see, these are, these are the remnants of the old stone bridge that got washed away. And they replaced it with what would have been a wooden bridge for the old railway to go over, the old train. So let's take a walk over this little bit of history, shall we? If bridges could talk, I'm sure this would have some stories. Well, yeah, look down here, some of the old timber structures in the water there, can you see them? Here, 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 here. an old cool piece of fencing. Quite trippy isn't it? Look at that. They don't make fence like that anymore. Can you see the pattern in that? It's hard to see with all the other stuff. You see the circles? Yeah. Bit of trippy fencing. Jesus wept. What's going on here like? just uh, got some friends run all the way over to us. I think the dogs that I just passed through the field have sent them this way. Hello there. Oh, don't walk away. I'm friends. I'm friends. I'm your friend. Don't be. Oh. Why are they so scared of humans? Hey, eh? so sad. So I'm no train expert. So I haven't got a clue what they're doing down there really, but it looks like they're dropping coal into the train, which powers the train, the old steam train. So yeah, there's a big pile of, big pile of coal up here, dropping down into the train. Can you see that? Well, folks, we come to the end of another adventure. I don't know about you, but I've had a great time. A great three days spent in the North Yorkshire Moors National Park. Most of it spent on the coast until today when we, uh, we were just heading home. <laughs> but we came across some nice little places along the way, didn't we? A nice little train journey had. So yes, a very pleasant time here. I've had an amazing time, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't want to leave the coast this morning. I really wanted to stay there. I was contemplating an, another night, but nah, I need to get back. But um, just a little summary of the whole trip. I mean, given that I didn't even know I was coming here on Tuesday, Tuesday evening, I decided to come here. Uh, Wednesday morning, I, well, Wednesday afternoon we arrived. We had mooched around uh, Saltburn by the sea for the day, scoping it out, ready to do a circle on one of the days. I didn't know which day. So it was all very unplanned, that's what I'm trying to say, you know. But this video, I think, well, videos, should prove that, you know, sometimes you don't have to plan things to do things. You can just go and do something and things fall into place. As today, we didn't know I was expecting to just kind of come straight home. The woman I was staying with in Saltburn by the Sea suggested a couple of places that I stop off along the way. 
I stop off, I find out there's a steam train going to the next village, we jump on that, we have this beautiful walk back. So things just fall into place, you know, I mean, and one thing I'd like to say while I'm here is, and before I begin, I would love nothing more than my partner to be with me right now. I would love nothing more for her to be here right now, to be witnessing everything I'm witnessing, you know. Um, but I also want to say that it's good to do things by yourself as well, you know. So whether you're single or whether you're away from your partner or you're just in the situation where you want to go and do something, but you're a bit, of, a bit afraid of doing it by yourself. If you haven't seen the other videos relating to this trip, I'll put them in the comments section. Um, sorry, in the description. But just go and do something by yourself, you won't regret it, you know, and you don't even have to have a plan. I know it sounds a bit scary to begin with, but like I said, Tuesday evening, I just decided to come here, found an Airbnb for three nights, booked it, went, and just did everything off the cuff. I planned the Thursday, the first day, I planned that a little bit, you know, but the other two days, yesterday and today, no plan whatsoever, and personally speaking I think we've had a great adventure together and especially finding that port I forget the name of it now I'll put it in the corner you know which one I'm talking about how that old harbour I mean what a find anyway hang on one sec I've just come across all of these old trains see the adventure's not even over <laughs> we're trying to end it but it's not ending so here's some old trains man look at this Ooh, well, I'd love to get in one of them. I'm not going to do it, clearly, because there's a train line right in front of me here. But how inviting. You see, the trip we didn't plan anything, and this is happening. Look at what we're seeing. If that train could talk, guard, you know, just. Anyway, back on track, back on track. I'm just trying to say. I would love my partner to be here absolutely 100% if I could have a choice yes she'd be here right now but if you find yourself in a situation by yourself and you want to go and have an adventure and just do it just go just go Caledonian sleeper apparently if you're a bit of a train buff Caledonian sleeper yeah I have no idea so yeah i just wanted to mention that anyway because i really feel I, I really do promote solo travel you know i think it's an amazing thing to do for yourself and to do for your mind you know it's just when you have these experiences they are just generally amazing so ah uh, and something else i just wanted to quickly mention about the North Yorkshire Moors here. It just, everything is like old without trying to be old, if that makes sense. I don't think it makes sense, but everything is just old, just naturally, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it just feels like you've gone back in time in certain places. It really does. The way the people are, the mentality of the people here, such nice people here, so friendly, and um, just always with a smile, you know? Good banter, good Northern banter. So, uh, I just wanted to mention that if you want to come somewhere for an authentic old English feel, traditional northern, definitely come to this part of the world. Right, that's it folks for sure. Take care and have fun. Peace.